Hi everyone. Uh, I think you guys are a little curious about the Zega Mame Gear. Uh, basically, uh, this is my old game gear which I bought, let's say, I think 20 years ago. Uh, the motherboard died, literally. The capacitors were dying. The LCD was dead already. Uh, just problems after problems. So this uh, Zega Mame Gear was the only solution that I could. Uh, think of basically what it is is a custom motherboard PCB uh, with a Raspberry Pi system uh, which in this case is Raspberry Pi 3A plus but this also works with Raspberry Pi 0 so what it does is essentially turns the game gear into an emulation machine now if you want to change the screen there are a couple of options like the Mac will the Retro Kai Magic screen, and then you have to also change the let's say capacitors. So it's gonna all come up to a big, big repair job. So this I felt was a perfect solution for it. So let's let's turn it on. It boots up just like how a Raspberry Pi computer would. Uh, takes a while, little bit. You guys can see it clearly. Let's go to the game gear section because that is what this is. But you got the options here to play all these games and it works brilliantly. The emulation is perfect. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Let's see, I want Batman forever. I'm sorry, the screen is kind of dirty from the inside. I didn't clean the game gear before actually did this. I need to give it a little vacuum, a little wash. Let's see. So the screen is a TFT LCD, very nice quality, matte finish kind of screen. So Mortal Kombat rip off pretty much. Okay. I got the Game Gear Micro as well. You know, I thought that's gonna help me bring bring the nostalgia back, but that is pretty tiny. I mean, it's playable, but pretty damn tiny. Hurts the eyes for long extended periods. So, okay, so there's a select button where the brightness wheel was supposed to be. You press that and start at the same time. It's gonna take you to the menu. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try Buster Move. It's a great game, great music. So it feels exactly like the Game Gear would, you know, with a Macwell screen or a RetroKai screen. The emulation is pretty spot on. This really 
gives a new life to the Game Gear. So my main motive was to play translated games that I could not play on the original Game Gear. So Japanese translations like RPGs and stuff. Let's see where that is. How well that works. Okay, I'm sorry. There it is. See, Fantasy Star. Let's try this. This was one of those ROMs that I put uh, on the system because I really, really wanted to play this in English, obviously. Let me show you some non Game Gear games. It is blasphemy, but you know what? Let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the 32X, how well it runs on this. It is beautiful, the screen is beautiful in person. So I can't get the camera to focus on the screen. It's just really good emulation on the Raspberry Pi. So you got all these games. Let's give uh, Game Boy <sighs> Game Boy games a try. I'll give the Alien Three a try. So it has a DMG color palette which I've not changed. Anyways guys, so that's pretty much it when it comes to the software portion of it. Uh, let me turn it off for a bit. Let me show you a bit of the hardware. So if you see here, you can see the Raspberry Pi in, inside over there. Uh, the light is flashing because the battery is a bit low. If you can see, the there's an HDMI port. I think if you put your time into it, you can do an HDMI out using a small cable from here which extends out from this extension port and uh, other than that there is uh, two batteries lithium ion 
Uh, one on each side. Okay. So you can't put the cartridge inside because that's going to the Raspberry Pi is going to obstruct the cartridge from uh, getting in. So, and I feel that you should uh, keep it kind of open for good airflow, but keep it in a protective case or a cover. So and it's a pretty easy like mod. It's basically drop in. You know, there's three boards: one main board, the sound board, and the power board. You just drop it in, screw it in, and you're pretty much good to go. And he's done a fantastic job uh, from where I got this Zarkade. Uh, when it comes to the main board, it is so so easy to use, and he's continuously improving uh, the board and doing a lot of mods on it. So I think uh, watch out for it. And other than that, this your normal Game Gear speaker inside, you know, mono audio. But the Game Gear speaker is pretty good, pretty loud. And when you come to retro games, you can't expect much, you know. Uh, I personally prefer it to be as bad as a sc how it was, you know, back then. So I think uh, he's tried to keep it all original to what it should be. Uh, and I think he has done a fantastic job with it. So uh, see if you guys really want to revive your game gear it's totally dead the motherboard is completely gone then i think this is the best solution for it okay thank you guys